Hey there guys, tested a lot of grow lights over the last few years and the most common question is, um, or comments or criticism is really about pricing and value for money. People trying to get to grips of whether a cheap light is, uh, as in a cheap light fixture cost, is a good light to buy or whether it's worth investing in the higher efficiency but often more costly grow lights on the market. In order to try and determine this uh, objectively, so with facts and figures, what I've decided to do is to list them all. And in order to try and list them um, fairly or compare them fairly, what I've done is I've only taken the lights that I've tested so that I know what their system efficiency is. What I mean by system efficiency or their system output is not taking the total amount of light the um, fixture emits but looking at when it's hung in its uh, designed uh, grow area at its designed height its recommended height and testing it with reflective walls so simulating a, a grow tent environment and testing the amount of light we call it usable ppf the usable power that it delivers down onto the grow area so the test is the same for all the grow lights as much as it can be uh, using the same process, procedure and um, sensors. Uh, it's the Apogee SQ500 power sensor. And so looking at the output from each of these fixtures, then dividing it simply by their recommended price. That's their price in dollars, excludes tax and shipping cost. We can determine the best value fixture cost. So here we have the list of the best value fixture cost. And unsurprisingly, you get some um, lights which are, you know, really on the face of it, very good value for money. So the Viper Spectra, Mars Hydro, uh, coming in there up front with very low uh, dollar per PPF. Then there are 47 cent per PPF and 52 cent for the Viper Spectra and Mars Hydro, respectively. It's very good. They're not the highest efficiency fixtures, 1.89 and 1.79 um, usable PPF for watts. So it'll be interesting to see over the lifespan, or at least the three years, how they perform against the others. But anyway, then we have the Geek Beast, first sort of big fixture in there. Uh, just tested that, the uh, review will be out shortly. Uh, that's very good value for money, uh, good efficiency too. Uh, you got the our own Micro Array, uh, the um, larger lights are better value and the regular full spectrum is better value too so that's in there got the Bava green which is a uh, uh, good price that's the one with the UVA and far red added LEDs and on we go downwards it's only fair to say I think that some of the lights down the bottom of this list so the Gavita Pro uh, the Bias uh, Lumatech They've got other features which, you know, I'd have to say the Migro doesn't have. So, for example, they have the uh, net networking capability for the lights. So you can connect them all together and control them simultaneously with a controller. That's a big feature to have and expensive to provide. Uh, and some of them have some other commercial features which are, uh, are expensive to provide and don't really get included in this value um, assessment. So to be fair to them, uh, they are providing above and beyond what other lights are and that'll be more expensive. Then we go to the three-year cost. Uh, this is a bit more comprehensive and the way it's designed, so some of the lights are, are small lights, some of the lights are large lights, so it can range from like 100 watts up to seven, eight, six, 700 watts. Because to try and compare them on a level playing field, what I've done is I've, I've um, used a benchmark of 750 micromoles delivered to the grow area, 750 micromoles of, of usable PPF. And so, for example, if it's a smaller fixture, it might require uh, a number of fixtures to uh, reach that quantity. Um, and so I've calculated based on that number of fixtures plus the three year running cost, which is running that number of fixtures over three years, um, and uh, that's at 14 hours a day and 17 cent per kilowatt hour uh, electricity cost which is i think uh, sort of medium for uh, median for um uh, for you guys looking at that 
the, the gap quite narrows and it changes the value proposition. So you see the Mars Hydro dropping lower down um, on the list, uh, Spider Farmer, some of the other sort of relatively lower efficiency fixtures dropping down there a bit. Viper Spectra uh, is still up there. Uh, it's in at um, fifth. But uh, in the main, you see the higher efficiency fixtures going up the list and the lower efficiency fixtures dropping down the list. You can see a narrowing in the gap between the lower uh, efficiency fixtures and the higher efficiency fixtures. The longer you would run this comparison, the uh, more favorable it will be to the higher efficiency fixtures. They'll be better value for money. The array, unfortunately, didn't make it to the top, um, but it was specifically designed, and this is a working list that I had, uh, to um, cost engineer the product to be high efficiency but also really good value for money and uh, high quality components and uh, I think I've, uh, I've done that I'm pretty happy with it uh, there's always somebody who's gonna <laughs> gonna beat you at any time so uh, yeah it's um, yeah hopefully you you get some value out of this um, I tried to uh, be as careful with the figures as possible that they're accurate so as not to um, show anybody in a, uh, an incorrect light um, and uh, yeah hope this is useful um, link is in the description below of the blog where you can download these um, these charts and share them around and uh, yeah hope you enjoy any comments or questions I'm sure there'll be many <laughs> um, Please let me know in the comment section below. Take care.